The real Misty of Chincoteague was born on July 20th, 1946, on the Beebe Ranch on Chincoteague Island. There, she was spotted by an author, Marguerite Henry, who had come to Chincoteague for pony penning and to do research for her upcoming book. It was love at first sight. The first time I really saw Misty, Marguerite writes, my heart bumped up into my throat until I thought I'd choke. It was a moment to laugh and cry and pray over. At the time, Clarence and Ida Beebe owned the Beebe Ranch and Misty, but for $150 and the promise to include grandchildren Paul and Maureen Beebe in the book, Marguerite Henry purchased Misty and had her shipped to her home in Wayne, Illinois. Misty of Shanktig was published in the following year and quickly became a classic. With illustrations by Wesley Dennis and an inspired by True Events story, the book won a Newbery Honor in 1948. Misty lived with Marguerite in Illinois until 1957, when she was brought back to Chincoteague to Beebe Ranch to have her foals. With the success of the novel, it was only a matter of time before Hollywood came knocking. The Misty movie was released on June 4th, 1961, with only four professional actors in the roles of the Beebe's. The remainder were true Chincoteague locals. At the premiere showing of the movie on Shinktig Island, Misty herself was led down Main Street to in front of the theater, where her hoofprints were immortalized in the square of cement outside the theater, where they still remain today. On March 6, 1962, a catastrophic nor'easter washed over Shinktig, flooding the island, right as Misty was about to give birth to her third foal. The Beebe's led Misty into the kitchen of their house, with fresh water in the sink and hay in a corner, and there she safely stayed until the floodwaters receded. Misty gave birth a few days later to a foal who could only be named Stormy. Meanwhile, Shinktig Island began to rebuild. 20th Century Fox re-released the Misty movie into theaters as a fundraiser for the Misty Disaster Fund. Misty and Stormy went on tour, making personal appearances at theaters and delighting children up and down the eastern shore. The next year, Marguerite Henry released a new novel, Stormy, Misty's Full, inspired by the events. But on October 16, 1972, Misty passed away peacefully in her sleep. She was 26 years old. Taxidermist Charles Oxenham of Glen Burnie, Maryland, was tasked with preserving her. Nowadays, both Misty and her full Stormy are on display at the Museum of Shinkteag Island, where they are on loan from the Beebe family. Direct descendants of Misty still roam today at the Beebe Ranch, on Assateague, and across the country. As Grandma Beebe would say, nothing ever dies as long as there is a memory to unfold it and a heart to love it.